So if I take my finger, and that's probably mustard algae. Hello everyone, welcome back for another video. Glad you could join me. Today I'm doing another pool inspection, and on all my pool inspections, I always take the chemical readings. This is a pretty good sized pool right here. It's kind of older, and you can see the surface. Well, it needs to be resurfaced. This is an older aggregate surface. Yes, I'm thinning of the surface right there. And for this old of a pool, it's doing pretty good. The water looks good, right? Well, what I wanna do is show you something that happens to a lot of people. I'm gonna take the chemical readings right now and I'm gonna show you what I mean. If you can get your hands on these, they're really good. So I'm gonna take my test strip, just dip it down in there and come up very slowly. And look at that. The top one is the chlorine. Now, if we look at this, we can see just how high the chlorine is. That is way over. See, that's 10 right, right here. That's 10, which is really dark. The strip is even darker than that, which means that the chlorine is extremely high. But when we come down here to the stabilizer, we can see that the stabilizer is extremely high as well. The stabilizer, or cyanuric acid, should be in this range. Actually, it should be about 30 to 50 parts per million. Now, if you have a salt pool, you can go up to 70 parts per million. As we allow this to sit, it gets darker and darker. So we have the plastic step, and as we can see, they're starting to get discolored with a little bit of green, and that green is algae. So if I take my finger and just take it like that, I don't know if you can see that, do it very slowly, and you see on the tip of my finger, that's discoloration right there, and that's probably mustard algae. Okay, so you might be thinking, how can the chlorine be that high and yet it not be effective? And you know, it's probably 15, 20 parts per million, and yet I'm still getting algae. Well, here's the reason. Remember, when we go back to our test strips, look at the stabilizer, it's really, really high. Probably about 80, 90, even 100 parts per million. You see the 100 right here? The stabilizer is very high. Remember, it's supposed to be 30 to 50 parts per million. So the point is this, the effectiveness of the chlorine up here is dependent upon your pH level and your stabilizer level. We can have a chlorine reading. However, if our pH is off and our stabilizer is maybe really low, which is, you know, 0 to 10, or really high, 100, 110, 120, 150, your chlorine is not going to be effective. So let's keep our pH between 7.2 to 7.8 our alkalinity at 180 to 120 parts per million and our stabilizer at 30 to 50 parts per million. Salt pools can go up to 70 parts per million. Once we get those in line, then we can add our chlorine and we'll know that our chlorine is effective. If your stabilizer is a little too high, you're gonna have to do a partial draining refill to get that stabilizer down in the right range of 30 to 50 parts per million. So that's it folks, hope you enjoyed it. Go we'll test your water and keep your pool water balanced. Thanks for watching.